Okay, it's uh, April 29th, 2016. Uh, we're looking at the new uh, Benetel 40, uh, 2008. Uh, looks uh, fairly clean, and uh, it's right here in the harbor. And uh, we're just kind of walking around to see how it looks. Uh, nice modern shape. Uh, it's style, uh, you know, windows. And uh, Bimini is a, uh, is a oversized Bimini. Obviously, uh, that's the name of the boat. We're probably going to uh, strip it out and make it a little bit more, less uh, screaming. The, uh, the radar, right up there, it's nicely, uh, nicely put up there. And uh, it looks like they, uh, they did a pretty good uh, design work. So they uh, worked it into the implemented design so that it doesn't look intrusive to the eye. But uh, it's, it's in a pretty good spot away from the uh, sail. So it's, it's, so so it's, it's a twelve hundred dollar amount of stress. The quest is just winning. I got it. And that gimbling on sailboats is quite often they go over and they're not getting a reading of what's going on. It's really dangling up there, so yeah, so depending so about the uh, boat uh, heels. You still get a, a good reading. Got it. Got it. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great feature. So the back of the boat. And uh, what is this one, Doug? Oh, it's the flag ball. We got the U.S. flag underneath there. Okay, so that, that's a good thing to do. So here's the, uh, uh, you got the antennas up there. It looks like there's an extra light there when you back it up. Uh, so obviously they're backing up the boats here. They need the light. And uh, it looks like there is a radio antenna and the lift for the, uh, for the motor, for the dinghy. Rails there probably need to be uh, polished, and, but they're in a uh, pretty good shape, so we'll see them uh, up close a little later on. Nice size mast, that's probably about a uh, 52 footer, right? It's about a 52 footer. So let's go inside and uh, see what it looks like. So this one is a double helm version. So the master helm is on the uh, on the right right hand side. That's where you have the engine controls. Nice cushion there. And uh, so it has a uh, thruster. So that's a good feature. It makes you look like a professional when you're uh, docking it to get the diesel. And uh, the uh, the wheels are actually in pretty good condition. Uh, the, uh, the the covered leather actually looks pretty decent. Uh, it's because it's been uh, you know, covered all the time. It's got some pretty decent covers. And there's a little bit of clip here. And, uh, so this is the surrogate the helm. And uh, it's got nice cup holders uh, on both sides. Room for two. A lot of nice uh, little uh, Gadgets. So obviously there's a uh, there's a need for it. We need to uh, spend some time on the phone with the owner to uh, get some uh, perspective on how they work. And again, this uh, the, the helm on this side, the wheel uh, looks to be uh, you know fairly decent. There's a uh, swing uh, sw swinging uh, you know uh, chart here. It looks pretty decent. The screen will have to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's just a uh, cleanup job. Center council uh, looks decent. Just a little bit of you know cracks here and there, but I don't think they're uh, anything structural. And so they recently uh, sanded and uh, you know polished the uh, the wood uh, up on the deck here. So the outside hand railing, like, if you see it, it's, it's a little. Uh, So the Bimini here inside, it's actually pretty decent, it's very high. Uh, somebody who's about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, could very easily uh, you know, walk around. Uh, to be honest with you, I love it. So the middle part of the Bimini uh, you know, comes out, obviously, right there. Uh, 
and uh, you know you can get the uh, you can get the Vivian Alpha as a well curl, which is a which is a pretty good feature. You know, helps it uh, keep it in place uh, if you want to use it. So the Dodger is actually pretty high, uh, you know, compared to uh, the kind of Dodgers that we see on the West Coast. I would say that's at least about a, uh, you know, uh, two and a half to three foot high. I'd say probably 30, you know, 30, 36 inches. The other feature is that the, uh, the tubing on this, it's inch and a half. Typically they have uh, one inch uh, tubing, but they've done a, uh, in my opinion, fairly decent job of, uh, you know, installing this Bimini. It looks very, very decent. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, just looking at it from outside, uh, I can't find any fault in it. And it's been nicely supported. Okay. They really uh, spent a lot of time uh, trying to make sure that they, uh, they get things right. So, so this is the pole, you know, where they have the, uh, the antennas uh, attached to it. And uh, so this is the uh, inch and a half. You know, just about every tubing here on the boat is about an inch and a half. So uh, this one is one inch. Uh, there's no load on this one. Obviously, this is just holding it in place. And, uh, but all oh, the critical uh, tubing is uh, this is you know pretty you know it's a very good uh, very good quality. They've done a uh, fairly decent job. And, uh, so the uh, the deck here uh, very uh, very spacey. And uh, so the uh, the lines for the uh, for the for the jib come all the way back here. And uh, so they're out of the way. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, there are a little bit of lines here. So obviously these are all the, uh, you know, halyards and uh, anything that has to do with the main and, and uh, you know, other things. And the, uh, the entrance door uh, down below has been uh, redone recently. It looks, uh, looks very decent. It actually closes, uh, you know, very nicely. And it's got the, uh, it's got the locker in there. It's the, uh, it's the plexiglass, uh, you know, fairly decent, nice, and uh, it's scratch free, so obviously it's been, uh, you know, covered. And uh, so that's what pretty much keeps it uh, nice and clean there, right? And uh, the sheets seem to be in uh, you know, a fairly, fairly decent shape. Uh, I don't see uh, any major issues with them. And it uh, looks like they installed some additional uh, locks here. So we'll need to figure out exactly what to use it for. And uh, so let's go down. Let's start here on the um, uh, nav station. So uh, looks like he uh, installed a uh, uh, aftermarket uh, you know computer here. Apparently it's connected into the uh, you know plotter, uh, which is a great feature. It's got the uh, keyboard there. That's the uh, it's the control panel, and you got the radio, uh, and you got the uh, DVD. Uh, I'm sorry, not a DVD player. I think it's like a regular LAN radio, and uh, there's a temperature gauge there. It's uh, about uh, 80 degrees. So uh, there's air conditioner in the unit here. Uh, it's got two actual air conditioning unit. Uh, you know, one in the back. So this is the, uh, the larger of the uh, stage room. So this is in the uh, uh, in the stern section. Fairly clean. Uh, I think they've done a uh, you know pretty decent cleanup job recently. So the boat has been emptied out you know completely. And uh, so there's a conditioner. The only so this is the return uh, for the air conditioner. So it doesn't blow in. So when you're uh, sleeping here. It's not going to be blowing on you. Uh, obviously, the grills need to be, uh, you know, cleaned up a little bit. There's a, just a little bit of sound here because the air conditioning unit uh, for this is, is in the back. Okay, it's right there on the, uh, the stern and the uh, compartments. And uh, lights, lights are all LED lights. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Typical of uh, Benito, lots of uh, lots of storage space, and uh, obviously these lights, uh, you know, he put them in there. Sorry, 
those are uh, just, you know, just regular lights. And uh, since he's got a um, uh, generator, uh, so he was a little bit more liberal in terms of all the lights. Temperature is about 76 degrees, so obviously there's a uh, you know, air conditioner here. And uh, here's the closet, I'm assuming it's empty. Yep. And uh, it's nicely, uh, nice to take care of. Uh, there's a uh, there's a fire extinguisher there. Obviously, there's a uh, window unit, and there's an entrance to the uh, to the bathroom here. It is a separate uh, shower area and uh, toilet area. Again, I think it's been uh, recently, uh, you know, cleaned up. And, it's pretty uh, pretty polished. Uh, they've been a uh, they've been a, they've done a pretty good uh, you know pretty good job. And uh, you can see the outlet over there. There's a second door that opens into the uh, into the galley area. And uh, there's engine room. This is from here. We probably need to. Uh, Seems to be clean. We're gonna we're gonna get a better view uh, from the other side, but we'll let the uh, uh, the survey guy to take a look at it and give us his opinion on, on how it is. And uh, there's a uh, some type of storage unit here. I'm assuming this is where the batteries are. Yep, it's got a uh, it's got a very large size battery, so we need to understand exactly uh, what it is. So obviously, uh, uh, I believe that's the uh, the converter from generator to the. Uh, generator and uh, so obviously uh, the, the current uh, the currents are a little uh, little different than the same so we'll pull the uh, come on back nice and clean and uh, it's not really claustrophobic and this is uh, this is where you're gonna be putting your head I don't think you want to put your head there I think that's where your feet go uh, it's a little bit of access there. Uh, very nice, very nice. So just going back, the, uh, the seats are fairly clean given the age of the boat. And, uh, they may have uh, cleaned them up. Uh, I think we can probably do a little bit more uh, cleaning up on these things. There's a little bit of dirt on them. Probably they need to be. Uh, Especially uh, treated. It's the nav station. We went through there. Here's the galley area. And uh, again, pretty decent compartment there. Underneath the sink, it's got the uh, garbage pail. There's the oven. I don't think he cooks on this thing all that much. Uh, he's got the units here. I think he put it out you know, recently. And uh, there's the refrigerator. It's a pretty good size, given that it's got a, um, a generator. So obviously, the refrigerator is a uh, is a pretty good uh, pretty good function. So this is the uh, uh, you know kitchen style refrigerator. The engine it looks to be uh, fairly clean. Okay, on the side. There's probably another access point uh, from here. Very clean. Looks like there's another battery there. Doesn't appear to be any, uh, any water leakage or anything like that. And, uh, nicely uh, soundproofed. It's a Yamar engine. Let's close this one. 
down. A little bit of debris fell out of there. Not a big deal. That's the uh, remote control for the uh, for the TV. TV actually works. We'll turn it off. All right. There's another uh, you know, air conditioner uh, off up there. So we can cool off the. Uh, Pull off the, uh, uh, the middle part of the, uh, the boat here, and uh, obviously uh, it's on the shoreline. We're docked in right now. Uh, looks like he uh, marked everything in. Water. It also says water here. I don't know why he had to do it twice. Fridge, fridge. Radar, nav station. It's probably uh, the radar is tied into the. Uh, oh, I, th I think I think I understand why he did it. So so this is the original water. Something, uh, something else in there, so, so I essentially put it in there to show exactly where they were connected. Same thing here, it's got two fridge units, uh, nav station and radar, the, uh, the motor, anchor lights, the battery seems to be full, 12 and a half, oh, sorry, and there's a depth meter here uh, inside the boat. Side, I guess it gives you some uh, perspective. You probably need this, uh, you know, around the Houston area because the uh, because the water level is going up and down. It uh, gives them a good perspective on uh, you know where they are, so that the water is not receding fast, so the water is not going to be sitting on the bottom. I think that's what that's for. Looks pretty clean. Uh, don't see a lot of a lot of issues. Uh, Looks like there's a uh, get a water pump there in case water comes in, sucks it out. Some cleaning maybe maybe required. I'm not quite sure if they've done a lot of cleaning on the boat, even though the boat looks uh, pretty clean. But the uh, uh, they could probably benefit from uh, some additional cleaning. So this is the uh, this is the second stage room and uh, up in the bow. That's the uh, that's the spinnaker. It's got a. It's got a sock on it, so it's fairly easy to uh, uh, to pull it up and uh, you know bring it down. Again, nice uh, port windows outside. And the wood uh, seems to be in fairly fairly nice condition. This would be the this would be the light, but uh, probably it's disconnected. There's a carbon monox uh, carbon. Uh, monoxide uh, uh, thing in here. I don't know why you would need it on a boat. Uh, you got plenty of uh, lights going down. If there's too much carbon monoxide outside, there's nothing you can do anyway. So uh, I guess you need to start uh, you know, praying. All the lights are LED. More lights. Look at outside. He's got uh, fire extinguishers all over the place. I, I guess it's a law in, Cal uh, in, in, I'm sorry, in Texas uh, to have these things. So this is the TV antenna. I put it on the inside instead of outside, so it keeps it on the element, and, and apparently it works pretty, pretty decent. And, uh, so uh, it's not attached to anything, and uh, I think it just, uh, you know, attached to the uh, wall curl. Uh, don't know what this is. Uh, not sure. Oh, maybe it has to do with the antenna. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll need to talk to the owner and try to get some good perspective on uh, you know what it is. But uh, everything seems to be clean. We get another uh, window to get more lights. And uh, so hand railing goes all the way around. Uh, it's a surface uh, area where you can keep a lot of stuff. Original, uh, you know, Beneteau. Uh, Beneteau mattress. We get it uh, to focus. Seems pretty decent. There's another closet uh, here. Got a large closet for uh, for clothes and things like that. It's got some uh, garbage down there. It needs to be cleaned, uh, but nothing major. Uh, Tips on the here. All right. 
So these are probably uh, the water sensors. Or maybe it's something else. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. Looks to be decent. Little nicks and knacks, you know, here and there. And uh, nothing structural. We could probably uh, put some more stuff down there. I think it's something we need to uh, worry about. Uh, I'm very positive the, uh, the table comes down. This is the second uh, AC unit. Quite underneath that uh, compartment there. He's got lots of lights, I don't know why he would need this kind of lights, I think the boat is pretty uh, airy and, and plus he's got lights, but uh, I'm assuming that the uh, system got generators carrying additional lights around. And he's the, uh, the original uh, you know, owner. Madame Argenti, I don't know what that means, uh, something, give me something. And uh, commission in April uh, 2013. I'm sorry, April uh, 13, 2008. Lakewood uh, Yacht Club. We're probably gonna keep there. And uh, here's the uh, dinner bell. There's a parameter. Seems to work. All in all, pretty good. Got the curtains, portholes, uh, the galleon. Uh, Decent. Put some uh, padding here uh, with the Velcro to make sure people do not slip as they're uh, going up and down. So we'll, we'll walk out a little bit. So around the bimini, we'll go to the bow. By the way, by the way, all the all the winches they're all covered and uh, nicely polished. The, uh, one of the winches there is electric, so we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, survey guy to look at the Benito. All the letters are there. There's nothing missing. And, uh, lots of lines. Probably a little bit more than I'm used to seeing on these boats. Uh, I'm pretty sure they all have. That does have a furling main, so that introduces uh, that intru introduces two additional lines coming in, and uh, the equipment seems to be uh, fairly decent. And, uh, there is a uh, spinner pole, and uh, we'll talk to the owner to see exactly how he attaches it. I typically uh, assume that it would get attached somewhere on the main, but I don't see anything to attach it to. So I don't know if you just uh, got it from somewhere else and with the intention of uh, installing it at some point, but uh, you know, we'll see if that actually works. Pretty clean inside. Uh, all the lines are there. And uh, it appears to be uh, there's some kind of uh, water pump or something like that. Oh no, this is the electric, uh, uh, it's not a water pump, uh, it's an electric uh, uh, controller to uh, to pull the, uh, to pull the anchor out of the water. The anchor is electric, so obviously it's controlled there. Or, uh, oil or something like that, I don't know what it is, but the, uh, it needs to be an 
exactly the same as what the Indian site. Again, everything's polished down there. The lines seem to be good. There's a uh, yellow flag. Some type of anchor for the flag, flag line. And a uh, U.S. Morris. Some uh, TLC. Yeah, frankly, uh, I don't think they've cleaned any of this stuff. Uh, in a long time. I think they just clean it for us. That's just my opinion. And uh, these probably could be taken off and dipped into uh, vinegar. And, uh, the plastic covers on the units, uh, you know, we'll have to put some oil on them so they're getting pretty dry. There's a uh, spinnaker pole. We thought that we'd have a spin spinnaker pole, but there's a spinnaker pole. But I don't know where they hook it to. There's nothing, uh, nothing to uh, to hook it to on the main, on the mast. And, uh, so that we need to understand exactly what it is. Maybe he just bought this with the idea of installing it at some point. Uh, just didn't get around to it. But uh, yeah, there's a spinnaker pole. And, uh, the uh, the tension on all the lines are uh, actually pretty solid. Thank you. 
suggested that we should uh Alright, it looks like the uh the kids uh, could get a kick out of that one. When there's no line on it obviously. Yeah. Nicely polished. Alright, we'll end it here. We appreciate Doug for uh, giving us the opportunity to actually uh, come out and look at the boat uh, before we uh make the final decision and uh, close the deal and uh, we certainly appreciate it. This is the dinghy. It actually looks pretty, uh, pretty clean. And, uh, very clean inside. It looks like they clean this one as well. And uh, it would easily carry, uh, I would say, it would carry at least about four or five people. I put three in the front. Uh, it, could, it could carry probably up to seven people. It's, it's a pretty good size. It's a Nissan.